Celebrities Who Died Young, Tammy Terrell. During the 1960s, Tammy Terrell was one of Motown's biggest stars. Her classic duets with Marvin Gaye, along with the singer's tragic death from brain cancer at a young age, helped fuel the soul star's now iconic status in the music world. Terrell was discovered at age 15 by artist and producer Luther Dixon. She recorded a few songs and even went on tour with James Brown, but ultimately, her career did not take off the way she'd hoped. It wasn't until a few years later, while Terrell was in college studying pre-med, that things began to happen. While touring with soul singer Jerry Butler, Tammy Terrell was seen by legendary Motown head Barry Gordy. He liked what he heard and signed Tammy to his Motown label. From there, her music career took off. She recorded several popular songs. In 1967, Tammy teamed with Motown superstar Marvin Gaye and recorded the hits Ain't No Mountain High Enough, Your Precious Love, and their iconic songs You're All I Need to Get By and Ain't Nothing Like the Real Thing. Unfortunately, the headaches that had plagued Tammy her whole life started getting worse. On October 14, 1967, Terrell fainted on stage at Virginia's Hamden Sydney College. Marvin Gaye was on stage and caught her in his arms. Tammy Terrell was soon diagnosed with a malignant brain tumor. She underwent several surgeries and continued to record music, but eventually became too sick to tour. In 1970, Terrell lost her eyesight along with her hair. She was confined to a wheelchair and dropped significant weight. Following her eighth brain surgery, Tammy Terrell slipped into a coma and died on March 16, 1970. She was 24 years old. On a further sad note, many say Marvin Gaye never got over Tammy's death. In the years following her passing, he battled depression and drug abuse, emphasizing just how devastating the loss of Tammy Terrell was, not only for the music world, but everyone who knew her. May she rest in peace.